Scientists have shown that rats also have imagination. Imagination is one of the most complex functions of the human brain. But as it turns out, we're not the only species that can fantasize. As recent research has shown, rats can also imagine various objects or places they have been to before. A team of scientists from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute has developed an innovative system combining virtual reality and a brain-computer interface. All this to investigate what rats think about. Scientists have found that these rodents, like humans, can think about places and objects that are not right in front of them, indicating that they have imagination. When rats visit places or experience certain events, specific patterns of neural activity are observed in the hippocampus, an area of the brain responsible for spatial memory. Just like in humans, scientists have shown in new research that rats can voluntarily generate the same activity patterns to recall distant locations or experiences in their minds. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, Science. The rat can actually activate the representation of places without going there, said Chongxi Lai, first author of the paper describing the new findings. Even if his physical body is stationary, his spatial thoughts can go to a very distant place, he added. The ability to imagine locations far from your current location is fundamental to remembering past events and imagining possible future scenarios. Therefore, according to the study's authors, the new work shows that animals, like humans, have some form of imagination. Imagine is one of the amazing things humans can do. Now we've discovered that animals can do it too. And we've found a way to test it, said Albert Lee, co-author of the study. The project started nine years ago. Lai, as a student, came to the university with the idea of testing whether animals can think and have imagination. Lee, who was employed at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, dealt with similar issues. This is how work began on a system that allows us to understand what animals think. Something like a real-time thought detector that could measure neural activity and translate its meaning. After years of work, a system using a brain-machine interface, BMI, was created, which provides a direct connection to the brain. It can image the electrical activity of a rat's hippocampus on an external device. There is also a virtual reality system involved. In this way, hippocampal activity is recorded and referred to the place in virtual reality where the rodent is located. The hippocampus stores mental maps of the environment. It is also associated with recalling past events and imagining the future. This process, i.e. memory recall, generates specific patterns of hippocampal activity. When we move through an environment, cells in the hippocampus fire in specific patterns depending on our location. When we later revisit these places or simply think about them, the same hippocampal signatures are activated. Until now. However, it was not known whether animals could voluntarily control this process. The developed interface allowed scientists to test whether a rat could recall memories, that is, recall hippocampal activity to simply think about a place without having to physically be there. In other words, the idea was to check whether the animal could imagine going to a place where it was not currently located. Developing a system is one thing. What still needed to be created was a thought dictionary that would enable researchers to decode the rat's brain signals. This dictionary contains specific patterns of activity in the rat's hippocampus when it was experiencing something. The rats were placed on ball-shaped treadmills that allowed them to rotate freely. A world previously designed in virtual reality was displayed around them.
The Shuras moved around the virtual world by simply walking on a spherical treadmill. As they walked, virtual reality generated various sceneries for them. Once they learned how to navigate this digital realm, scientists began rewarding them with treats for reaching a specific destination. At the same time, the BMI system recorded the activity of the rodents' hippocampi. In this way, scientists could see which neurons were activated when the rat moved around the virtual world. They also learned what hippocampal activity patterns looked like when a given rat visited a specific location in virtual reality. In the next step, the researchers got rid of the spherical treadmill. But the brain activity imaging scanner remained. There was also a virtual world displayed to the rodents, but their running had no impact on moving around this world. Instead, the team connected a display to real-time readings of the rat's brain activity. By reproducing the brain activity they had shown during previous training sessions, the rats could navigate to the reward locations using only their thoughts. By analyzing the rat's brain activity in real time as they performed the task, the team was able to update the screen every 100 milliseconds to show the animal's current location in the digital world. It's all based on what was going on in their brains. It turned out that rats can reach their destination using only brain activity. Basically, the animal was using its thoughts to get a reward. First, it wondered where it had to go to get it. This thought process is something people experience on a regular basis. For example, if we are asked to pick up groceries at a familiar store, we can imagine the places we will pass along the way before we even leave the house. In the next task, rats were rewarded for moving an object using only their imagination. Of course in the virtual world, the researchers concluded that rodents can precisely and flexibly control hippocampal activity just like humans. Animals are also able to sustain this activity by keeping their thoughts in a given place for many seconds. We know that people have representations of all kinds of spaces in their heads. Rooms at home, friends' houses, shops, libraries, neighborhoods. Through the simple act of remembering, we can place ourselves in these spaces. The idea that we have an animal equivalent of this very human act of imagination is impressive, said Sean Pollan, a psychologist at Vanderbilt University who was not involved in the study.